Hey everybody, this is uh, the Hero Maker, um, Clay Merwin, uh, aka the Hero Maker. Uh, I just, as you can see here, I've got a penguin drawing that I've started doing. Um, it's in various stage of completion. Uh, I've started. I've already laid it out, sketched it out. You can still see I've got a couple of sketch areas right here that haven't been done yet. What I wanted to do is give you a little idea of what I, you know, how I'm, I go about doing these type of pencil drawings once I get them done. Uh, basically, I use a Stadler pencil um, for my uh, fine lines, and I've got a big jet black uh, this ebony Sanford pencil. Um, this is for my heavy dark colors for my shading blends. I've got a 5/8 uh, uh, stubber, a blending stub. Um, I've got a medium one, and then I've got a small one. These are what I use for that. All right. Um, basically, what I'm going to do here is, uh, as you can see, I've got the layouts already done. And I've already started blending some of the areas. I'm going to go back in here and show you how I go about this. I think I'm going to work on my face a little bit. So, what I got here is uh, I'm a piece of paper here to keep smudging my work. When I want to add in darks, I take make it a little heavier, a little darker. I'm, I put a little bit of black in there, lighten that up, take my small, these are for my smaller areas, and I'll pull that around to bring this up in here, and to blend that out like that. This is going to give me definition on my character, and then I do the same thing up over here, and I bring these areas in here, darker areas, and I'm going to blend these out. As you can see, I'll work up from that because I do a lot of overwork on the pencil and keep blending it until I get what the effect I want and then I also go back in and I'll erase sometimes to take the areas in there the eye Work. Keep working this, blending it in. That gives me my heavy darks. Bring that down, and then I lighten it up. I don't use quite as much pressure when I'm gonna blend it out. This will give me. my effects that I want for my piece as you can see I pull that out away from where I'm blending to give me bring that under here for my medium and then bring that down here now I'm going to add a little bit of um, cause that's going to be where the hat's at it's naturally going to have some darkness right along here because that's where the hat's going and then you also want to blend on the hairline quite as dark to see what I've got going on is I've got a fold there so I've got to bring these down and I'll come back in here in a little bit and do some detail on the uh, lens because that's penguin's lens you know I've got and then I slightly bring these in bring that out bring these out Bend that a little bit more in here. Bring that around. I'm going to 
add a little bit. Let's see. Been sick as a dog for the last couple of days, almost a week now. And I'm starting to feel a little bit better, so I want to do a little bit of something. I've been laying around so much. But see, this is how I keep, and then I keep blending and then bring that around like that. Bring that in a little bit more. And I'll take my, if I don't like something, I'll take a brush, my uh, eraser, come in and fix it. But one of the things I wanted to show you as well, I'm going to do a light cover over here, like this, really light, I'm not doing it real heavy, because I want to take it, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, use the tip of it, There is my lens. I don't know if you can see that real good. But then, because I erased that, then I'll take one side of the pencil and then I'll right on that lens area and then I'll slightly come up to blend it out to show you that I've got a line there and the lens is coming. what I'm doing there and then that gives me my effect of the lens and then I'll come in here and I'll drop it on this a little bit more because this is where my So you want you want the blend keep going. And then you pull that out. And sometimes you can over blend it, but for the most part it works pretty good. I'm gonna bring in a little more dark on this side here. This is how you get your depth on your, for making it look realistic to a degree. I still need that a little bit more dark in here. But right there with the line is. So you do that and pull that out. Now, you get sometimes when these pencils, charcoal is better for this, but you get shine on these. But for the purposes I'm doing, it's not going to go behind glass. It's not an exam piece. So I'm not too worried about the shine. It's just for the uh, artwork. But then, like, I want to hang some heavier blacks up on here on the back side of that. 
I'm going to press a little bit harder. Right? Give me a little heavier black. You got to be careful though. Because once you put indentate that paper, it's impossible to get that er erase that. <laughs> you know, it makes it real difficult. So, see how I did that? And then I'll take this and I'll blend it out. So there you go. You got a little different shade. Real dark there, and then bring that around like that. And, that down. and then you can bring these across. And once you do this, especially if you use the tip of it, you get you start getting indentation to the paper. So when you make sure, and once you get the indentation in the paper, then what you can do is so make sure when you do your things that, that you're you're where you want to be. And then bring that around. Bring that like that. Now I'm gonna this is a little bit lighter because this is a headband. So that's gonna be grayed. And I'm gonna add a little little light. Now, as you can see on the hair, I got highlights on the hair and then the, my ear area here. I'm going to pull that ear down here. Like that. Like that's the top of the ear. Okay. Now I'm working from the ear out, so I'm going to bring the darker area. It's going to be right here. Okay. And I'm going to bring that out. Like that. Bring that out. And keep doing that. Okay. And then bring this in here. Use my small stubber. And pull that down. Okay. I'm kind of jumping around just to give you an idea of how I do each area. Um, if you really want to, but you can add, keep going over, and if you want darker and darker area, just keep going over the area, like what I'm doing right here, and then you add a little bit more to it every time that you do it. every time that you do it and then you'll bring that keep bringing that up and I'll take my stubber come back in here and I work in a circular motion and an up and down but because I find that working in circular blends it a lot easier and a lot better okay and now I'm going to take so you can see it there I'm going to take that come in here and raise that line there Now, I'm going to take the tip of my eraser and I'm come over and some of these areas and lighten it up a little bit. Come back down. Now that's the hairline, so now I want a little bit of darkness on this hairline so it don't look like it's a start. And that's how you want to get your own. And then you also want you to pull your, your shadows for where you're
you see how I did that there? This is my inner ear. Let me bring that up. Let me see. Also going to have some shadow on up here because it's. I'm doing this and slightly get in there and do my hair again. Well, that's all I'm going to show you today, folks, but that's a little bit of the process I go through when I try to do, uh, when I'm doing this type of work. Uh, let me know what you think of it, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to do it again sometime. See ya.